Uh, for the T bills market, we've got its uh, number of deals there, it puts at 231, and total value is 132.126 billion naira. The total debt uh, market size, as at yesterday, June the 30th, on the platform of the FMDQ O2C, is put at 18.86 trillion naira. And there you have all the numbers of uh, securities that traded on that platform. Over now to the NSC, where the market rebounded this week uh, after the decline that was posted last week. Now, the market session for this week started on Wednesday due to two days of public holiday on a bullish note and further extended till Thursday with a cumulative gain of 3.54% as investors scooped stocks following three days of consecutive loss in the previous week. However, the gains were bucked on the last trading day of the week as investors took profits across board with the banking index shedding 1.69% and recording the largest daily loss. Uh, with what you have on the screen, you've got the all share index standing at 33,117.48 to close the half year and total volume at 1.171 billion units. Let's go to the top traded sector where we've got the financial services, the conglomerates, as well as the consumer goods uh, sectors you know, pulling those units in terms of trading. Top gainers include uh, Name Insurance, Diamond Bank, PZ, which had uh, just 9.67% increase in terms of the share price. And what you have in terms of the top decliners are Small Fits, smart, uh, the, smart, the smart company, they're declining by 28.95. With May and Baker also shedding 18.14% and Unilever, despite its rights issue, shared in 14.24 percent. Now, I said it earlier, it's the first day of the second half this year. And as we are privileged, of course, to review the capital market performance in the first half of the year. And live in the studio is our first investment analyst, Aramosele Azeba, joining us to do justice to what's transpired in the first half of the year. Thanks a great deal for coming through. Thank you. Let's begin with what we've seen so far this year. I said it earlier as well. Uh, the index opened at 26,000 psychological line, January 3rd this year. And yes. here we are with the same index, the benchmark index, standing at 33,117.48. Talk to us about what we've got to celebrate this time. Uh, well, looking at the half, the half year result, it um, itself, that's the eight one period from January down to June. Yeah. It's been a case of two halves in the sense that in the first quarter of the half, that's January to March, the all share index was actually down about 5%. Mm. But in the second quarter of the half, that's where we saw the all share index appreciate significantly. And this is broadly tied to the fact that we saw improved flexibility in the FX market. If you recall the introduction of the um, investors and, and exporters FX window yeah. back back in in April yeah. and the opening of the um, NAFX also these these have constant consistently boosted um, investor sentiment and we've seen the massive massive rallies that that have been recorded over 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 the last two months in, mm -hmm. in just Q2 2017 alone the OSHA index actually appreciated about 30 30 percent. But when you factor in the, the negative performance in the first quarter, that's when it brings it back down to a positive performance of about 23%. So investor sentiment has been largely boosted by the development in the FX market. And we, we envisage that if the current trend is, con is, is sustained with mm -hmm. these CBN interventions, uh, appreciation in Naira at the parallel market end, uh, we could see the positive performance sustained to, to, to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the dependence of this market on foreign portfolio investments. As of uh, May this year, uh, the reports released by the Nigerian Stock, Stock Exchange uh, says that uh, uh, there was a surge of 52.6% to 715 billion naira worth of foreign portfolio investments in the market. Why is this so? Why do we have to really depend on foreign portfolio investment for the market to move. Okay, well, so, so historically, foreign, looking at emerging markets um, across the globe, foreign portfolio investors 
play a key part in terms of um, market activity and it's very similar to, to the case that we that we have in our domestic market uh, looking at performance for the last three years yeah. uh, and considering the FX challenges that we've had for a greater part of, of, of the last two years a lot of these foreign investors have sort of pulled out of the market and this was one of the major reasons why we saw the dip in market performance mm -hmm. but like I mentioned with the introduction of the investors and exporters FX window where um, the exchange rate is expected to be market driven by the dynamics of, of, of demand and supply it sort of lifted uh, investor, uh, investor confidence and we started to see some of these foreign portfolio investors return back to the market I mean if you look at valuation of, of, the, of, Nigerian, of the Nigerian market when compared to pairs it's safe to say that Nigerian stocks are rather um, undervalued when compared to, to, to the likes of um, South Africa, Kenya, that's if, if you're looking at the P ratio of the, of the Nigerian market and even looking at most of the bellwether stocks, so for instance in the banking space, we have most of the tier one banks, save mm. for uh, guarantees, still trading at um, price to book of less than one times. But if you look at what what their pairs are doing in other in other countries, we have about 1.5 to 1.8 times. So looking at valuation metrics, it pointed to the fact that Nigerian stocks were greatly undervalued due to the the dip in performance that that we saw over the last two years mm -hmm. and with the optimism that the launch of the i and e fx window has brought we've seen these foreign investors come back into the market even domestic participation too has has has, has been uh, renewed been and and this has been driving driving market performance mm -hmm. okay well it will be wise of us to actually take a break now, and when we come back, we'll continue with uh, other, other areas of this discussion, as well as the fixed income, which is the debt side of the market. Don't go away. We'll be right back shortly. <laughs>